Good morning, Coach Sack here once again. Continue our readings on the Synaxadian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this, the 28th day of March, we commemorate our venerable father, Hezekiah of Jerusalem. Probably a native of Jerusalem, St. Hezekiah, through a frequenting of the holy places and an assiduous meditation on the scriptures, acquired a rare knowledge of God. This presence of the word within him drove him to retire to the desert where he assembled in himself all the examples of virtues that he had admired in the holy hermits of Palestine. Towards 412, John, the patriarch of Jerusalem, obliged him to accept priestly ordination and to remain in the holy city in order to embellish the church of the resurrection with the treasures of his wisdom. He later became one of the most precious auxiliaries of the holy patriarch Juvenal in exegetical and theological matters and he took part in the battle against the Nestorian heresy, heresy defending like St. Cyril of Alexandria the orthodox doctrine of the person of Christ. In his biography by St. Eftimius, Cyril of Scythopolis speaks of him as the theologian and teacher of the church whose light illumines the whole world. It is said that he explained almost the whole of Holy Scripture stressing the moral and spiritual interpretation of the Old Testament. Gifted with a rare eloquence, he gave admirable homilies based fully on the scriptures in honor of the saints and for the feast of the liturgical year. Enjoying the admiration and the esteem of all in the church, he fell asleep in peace, probably some years after the Council of Chalcedon in 451. The treaty on watchfulness and holiness addressed to his disciple Theodulus and included in the Philokalia is ascribed to Hezekiah. According to Hezekiah, sobriety, nepsis, or watchfulness, is a spiritual method which, if sedulously practiced over a long period, completely frees us with God's help from impassioned thoughts, impassioned words, and evil actions. It leads, insofar as this is possible, to a sure knowledge of the inapprehensible God and helps us penetrate the divine and hidden mysteries enables us to fulfill every divine commandment in the Old and New Testaments and bestows upon us every blessing of the age to come. It is, in the true sense, purity of heart, bought only at a great price, but once established in us, it guides us to a true and holy way of life, and this is the basis of contemplation. He adds, sobriety is a way of embracing every virtue, every commandment. It is the heart stillness and, when free from mental images, is the guarding of the intellect. Continuity of watchful attention produces inner stability. Inner stability produces a natural intensification of watchfulness. And this intensification gradually and in due measure gives contemplative insight into spiritual warfare. This in turn is, is succeeded by persistence in the Jesus prayer and by the state that Jesus confers in which the intellect, free from all images, enjoys complete stillness. Sobriety is thus identified with the whole of the spiritual life, which, by the observation of the commandments and assises practice with discernment, seeks to purify the passions. Yet this long battle engaged in with a view to arriving at Hezekiah of heart cannot be undertaken without the help of divine grace, which is given through the continual invocation of the name of Jesus. Prayer associated with watchfulness is a great blessing and it embraces all blessings, for it purifies the heart in which God is seen by the believer. Watchfulness and the Jesus prayer mutually reinforce one another, for close attentiveness goes with constant prayer, while prayer goes with close watchfulness and attentiveness of intellect. Exhorting every Christian, whether monk or layperson, to practice prayer, St. Hezekiah never ceases to proclaim, If you really want to cover your evil thoughts with shame, to be still and calm, and to watch over your heart without hindrance, let the Jesus prayer cleave to your breath. In a few days, you will find that this is possible. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.